Hello guys, you're welcome back to our class today. And in today's class, we are going to be continuing in our electricity experiment. And the aim of our experiment today is to deduce the resistance per unit length of a given wire. And the wire today we are going to be using is a bare constantan wire, SWG28. Now, to do that, we'll be needing a meter bridge, as you can see here a 3 volt cell, a switch, a 2 ohm resistor, a zero center galvanometer, a jockey, and a 1 meter row to measure out the length. To proceed with the experiment, we are going to place the components that we have here at the position that is specified according to the drawing you are seeing, which is a circuit diagram. So following the circuit diagram, the two ohm resistor will be placed at the left gap of the meter bridge. The constant hand wire and the crocodile clip will be fixed at the right gap of the meter bridge. The cell will be placed at the lower part of the meter bridge while the switch also will be connected in series with the cell at the lower part of the meter bridge then the galvanometer and the jockey will be connected to the center point of the meter bridge so i'm going to be connecting the key to the left part of the meter bridge as follows one of the precautions that we would have to take in conducting this experiment is to ensure tight connection so for any form of connection you're making, ensure that the connection is tight. So here is a confirmation. Here is a confirmation. And I'm going to connect the cell to the right part of the metal bridge. So this is what I have here. So I see tight connection. So the lower part of the metal bridge is set. I'll simply go to the upper part. So I'll connect the 2 ohm resistor to the upper part here. So here I have, and then to this one I would also connect it. You can see, so here is, is good. So the constant hand wire, I'll connect it straight So you see, so here will be my zero point for during measurement. And then I'll connect the crocodile clip to the other end. So here, I have my crocodile clip ready. And then I'll connect the zero center galvanometer to the center here. see and then the other end I'll connect to the jockey so you can see so our circuit is complete as you can see now to proceed with the experiment I'm going to measure out the length of 20 cm on the constant hand wire from the zero point. So I'm going to make use of my meter room. So here I have the meter room list. So I measure out 20 cm and then I'll clip it with the, the crocodile clip. So here I have 20 cm here. So I'll clip it with the crocodile clip. So this is what I have. So I'll remove this from the setup to avoid it making contact with any metal in order not to affect my reading. So I'll confirm the workability of our gravonometer by simply tapping it to the right, you can see, and then tapping it to the left, as you can see. You can see there's a, a deflection here, and there's also a deflection to the other part. I'll be required to find the balance length on the meter bridge at this given length. 
So I will tap 10, okay, full scale deflection to the right, yes, until we get it to the zero center, 70, 80, 90. You can see now I have 95 here. 96 97 has passed so it's just around 96 so you can see it's 96 so you can see 96 is zero so the balance length is equivalent to 96 i'm going to bring my meter root back again and measure out another length l equal to 40. so here i have l equal to 40 and then I'll also use my crocodile clip to hold it through. So here I have. So I'll also continue with finding the balance length. You can see at 70, you can see. Let's check 75. Oh, 75 exactly, you can see. So the balance length is at 75. I'm going to also continue to measure out a length of 60 cm from that point again. So I have a length of 60 cm here. So measure out 60 cm. So here is 60 cm. And I use my crocodile clip to clip it. So here is a length of 60 cm. So I'll continue also to find the balance length. So let's start from the last reading, 75. You can see it's off there, 70, 65, okay, sorry, close, 64, exactly. So you can see 64 is the balance length. As I proceed, I'm going to continue in the next, measuring out 80 cm from the zero point here. So I have the bare wire here, road, upon the 80 so here is 80 i have 80 here so our last reading was at 64 so i'd get to 60 i would get to 50 okay it's 50 is way over 55 57 is our balance length as you can see here so finally, I'm going to measure out the length of 100 centimeters. So this is what I have here. I roll the bay wire straight. So here, you can see. So I have it just here, as you can see. So we are good. So let's find the balance length for this 100 cm. Our last value was 57. So let me start from there. You can see it's off of off it. 50. Oh, 50. 50 is almost there. Yeah, that's 50. So you can see the balance length is at point 0.50. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and tabulate my reading and plot my graph, and then I'll show you the theory behind this particular experiment. So here is what my table looks like. As you can see from the table, L is the length on the constant tan wire we measured during the experiment, which is in CM. Y represents the balance length that we also got during the experiment. And from the instruction, we were told to find the inverse of the balance length. And that is Y inverse, as you're seeing it there on the table. With this, I'm required to plot a graph of L on the vertical axis against Y inverse on the horizontal axis. And this is what my graph looks like. It's a straight line graph that makes intercept with the vertical axis, giving us a negative intercept, as you can see from the graph sheet. If I proceed to 
deduce the slope, finding the ratio of the change in L to the change in Y inverse. I'm going to get a huge value, 8,666.7 cm squared. While the intercept on the L axis is a negative value, minus 78. So having deduced my slope and my intercept, I'd go ahead to deduce the resistance per unit length as it is our M in this experiment by using the equation of the graph, which is L equal to the ratio of 200 inverse of Y over R minus 2 over R. That is where R is the, res the resistance per unit length of the wire. If you take a look at this equation of this graph, it's deduced that S, the slope, is equal to 200 over R and the intercept is equal to minus 2 over R. So if I compare them with the values I have already, I would from there derive my resistance per unit length. Hence, if you solve for R using both relations, you are meant to get exactly the same thing. So let's see what I have here. Using the slope equal to 200 over R, making R subject formula, I have 0 0.023 as my value of R. Therefore, my resistance per unit length is equal to 0 0.02 per cm squared. Also, resolving it using the intercept, you can see here that my resistance per unit length is equivalent to 0 0.026 per cm squared. You can see a little bit of a disparity there. That could arise from the line of best fit. During the conduct of this experiment, I ensured that the terminals were tightly connected. I also avoided error due to parallax while taking readings from meter bridge. And then I ensured the keys was open when the circuit was not in use. So you can see that the experiment is quite straightforward. I'd like that to check it out on your own and give us a feedback as to the outcome. And then until next time, stay tuned.